this is the end. Hold your breath and count to ten. Feel the earth move, and then hear my heart burst again. When you were here before, I couldn't look you. You're just like an angel. Your skin makes me cry. You float like a feather in a beautiful world. I wish I was special. So very special, but I'm a creep, and I'm a winner. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong. What's going on? Nothing's fun. I'm torn. I'm all out of faith, and this is how I feel. I'm cold and I am shamed, lying naked on the floor. Illusion never changed into something real. I'm wide awake and I can see the perfect sky is torn. You're a little late. I'm already tall. Pull you underneath the slumber into the light before the thunder. Tell me, is there any wonder about where we stand? Little honey in the summer fell in love with her. But I can't help this. I see the parties and the diamonds. Sometimes when I close my eyes, six months of torture you sold. Some forbidden paradise. I loved you truly. You gotta laugh at the stupidity. 'Cause I've made some real big mistakes. You make the worst one look fine. I should. Known it was strange. You only come out at night. I used to think I was smart. You made me look so naive. The way you sold me for parts as you sunk your teeth into me. Oh, bloodsucker, fame, fly me to the moon and let me play. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, baby, kiss me. Fill my heart with song and let me sing. Good afternoon, my beautiful beans, and welcome to the Sunday stream. Now, what is it about Sundays? Sundays have something a little extra special, and they always have. Since my very first couple of weeks here on Twitch, um, well, maybe my first couple of months when I first realised it, just how magical Sundays are, and they've always been that way, and I imagine they always will be that way. What's going on with this focus on this screen? 
Is this something I need to fix? Is it not registering my face? I promise you, camera, my face is a face. I might just need to tamper with this. Hang on. Just one moment there, Beans. Hello, all of you, and goodbye. should be better it just wasn't my look my face wasn't in the in the box it wasn't in the box but now it's in the box if you if you know cameras you know what i mean um <laughs> hello lovely beans <laughs> look at all of you oh! firstly i want to start today by um just acknowledging how thankful i am for the incredible amount of support that you've all given us this weekend this has just been so emotional and so mind-blowing releasing an album is such an emotional and huge occasion anyway as a musician um, but then having a community that gets behind you rallies behind you and supports you as fiercely as you all have supported me this entire weekend and for the last six years honestly um it's so magical so thank you <laughs> Major Aid, I love it. I love it. I love a seven quote. I'm very impressed. <laughs> Major Aid, you're so quick. How do you do it? You're just so quick. Your brain, your brain is quite something. Um, I feel like Major Aid's brain never switches off. Major Aid is ready with either a pun or some sort of magical um, quote or just the most creative bit of writing at all times. Um, honey, my sunshine soul of a bean. How are you, my love? The clock is real. This is a real clock, although she stays at quarter past two because we're not putting batteries in her because she's supposed to stay at that time. She is the hour that turned blue. Angie Indy, my angel of music. How are you today, my love? Marco, it's a pleasure to have you here. Honey, I love you more. Nova Sun, how are you, my sweet? You say the best community for sure. Such lovely dancers and singers. Bless your face. Hello, Zen Daily. Hello, Splattercat. You say, Venus, don't leave us like that again. You were gone far too long just now, I know. Unforgivable. Um, I will I will do my absolute best to not leave the screen for more than one moment, even one second. Um, Pix, add it. It's a pleasure to have you with us too. Who else have we got here with us today? Bitfighter and the Jenny Sparkles. Hello, Monkey Man, you my angel and attorney from below. Good afternoon, my darling bean. Nova Sun and Benita KK. I hope both of you are having a fantastic weekend. We've also got Jerry Tsutola. Welcome, Jerry. We've got Prakar. We've got Zen Daily. We've got Oliver Real. Good afternoon. We've got Matt M33, my sweet bean. How are you? Loon Suko, it's a pleasure to see you. Rinse Wind. Hello, sweetheart. Bless your face. Chapito and Edu Ramos Rock. Welcome in, my darling beans. Orthak, it's a pleasure to have you here. Your Time TV. Bless your face. And anyone else that I've missed, you know what to do. Just keep screaming hi at me till I have the pleasure of seeing you. Right, it's time for me to um, just quickly keep a little tab on what you beans have been up to. Um, hang on, just one moment. Because I believe some naughtiness is already occurring. <laughs> As it always is, immediately. It's just, you're all absolutely out of control. You're, you're um, a force of nature and there's nothing I can do about it. So starting with Andy, with a 100 bit cheer, this was 12 minutes ago before I was even on screen. Andy said, good afternoon, Queen V, Beavers and Mods, Beans, happy release party day three, woo! Isn't it crazy? We're already on day three of the release. The album is three days old right now. That's just mad. It's its three day birthday. Um, Flam and Sign, thank you for your 28th month of resubscribing. You absolute blooming angel. Thank you for supporting me for 28 beautiful months. Thank you, Made to Raid, for bestowing a pair of wings upon the mole's revenge. Quixie, thank you for one whole year. You say hi all. I'm not stopping as I'm a little busy. Hugs to all. Hugs to you, my love. You say have fun. By the way, my lovely blue CD arrived safe and sound. However, I need to find a record player to put that small vinyl on to play. Um, <laughs> Quixie, let me know how you get on with that. <laughs> Thank you so much. I am so delighted that the CD has arrived. I've had a few messages today um, from you lovely beans saying your CDs have arrived and that makes me so happy. Quixie, thank you for one year of your beautiful, magnificent, outstanding support. Quixie is such an angel. Made to raid. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bit cheese. It looks good from here. Am I, am I missing something? Um, it was just going out of focus, but perhaps you couldn't see that. I, I definitely could see it on this screen, but maybe that wasn't coming across through the stream. 
And um, broke back Ula, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you, Nico Dermus, for your 16th month of subscribing. God, 16 months already. And attorney from below, thank you for that 100 bit cheese. Say, chat, we don't have to take the spurious allegations of naughtiness. Now, that is some attorney speak right there. Spurious allegations. Me, oh, my attorney. What, what a wonderful sentence that was. Colossus demise. <laughs> thank you. And by the way, the spurious allegations are true. Um, I don't know what spurious means, but I, I like it. Um, I'd like to use it daily. What does it mean exactly? Spurious. Um, Colossus Demise, thank you for your 27th month. And Flam and Sign, thank you for bestowing a pair of wings upon Nova Sun. No, absolutely not. You cannot have a train right now. Absolutely. Look, <laughs> we've just begun the stream. Beans. <laughs> Oh my, I didn't even see that creep in. I was just reading the notifications and a train is suddenly here. Mythic Scotty, good morning to you, my love. Yoshi, how are you today, my lovely? Nova Sun says, we're just going to happily spin now. <laughs> and she says, hello, Mythic Scotty. Kentai says, okay, no train, Kentai. Hello, my love. How are you doing today, Kentai? How was your sleep? How was your breakfast? And I want to know, Kentai, what is the weather like in Sweden at this time of year where you are? Um, are you getting... <clears throat> a little more than um than coldness i was watching a a, a vlogger a vlogger um, on youtube this morning she lives in northern sweden and it was still snowing um which is crazy in april right is that mad um i'm assuming where you are kentai it's not snowing still surely um benita kk bless your face p turks you say cd arrived yesterday thank you very much oh i'm so delighted that your cd has arrived already attorney says spurious not genuine or authentic um well i love that spurious i'm gonna try to remember that it's a bit like furious but with a sp right is that how i'm gonna remember it probably and he says all aboard the out of focus express um i like the sound of that that's very cute the out of focus express um thank you also to beaver bowers who says i see no trains that's my very own dad who needs a pair of glasses it seems as there is most certainly a rather large a rather chunky in fact level three hype train trundling through the chat right now made to raid says so you're curious about spurious well i'm doubtful <laughs> He he spurious being not based in fact etc um <clears throat> it's kind of how it feels i'm assuming i've heard it before used in context and so because i kind of had in my mind that that's what it means also the context that attorney used it in sort of made that apparent um i love it spurious it's just a beautiful word um handsome debut i hope you're having a fantastic weekend blom you say hello venus that turned blue and beans i did indeed i turned blue um but not as blue as i pretended to turn <laughs> If you know what I mean, Beans. MG01, it's a pleasure to have you with us today. We've got Jeffrey too. You say, I hope it's a smooth ride today. Well, I can tell you one thing, Jeffrey. The train rides here are never smooth, as um, they tend to be so incredibly quick that we're all thrown into our seats with the pure G force. Um, now, who else have we got here? Um, oh, Kent, I missed a 100 bit cheer from you. You say, we have, a we have nice sunny weather right now, but April is a month of changing weather. Two weeks ago, we had a surprise snowstorm but mostly pretty cold rain here well to be honest kentai it's actually it's been pretty similar here with that minus the snow it's been just rainy and gray but then the last few days have been absolutely glorious and all the trees have suddenly turned green which is such a different view of our landscape it's just been this barren dead looking sort of um just trees with no leaves you know what it looks like. It's not like that, which has been... I live in a forest, so it's very, very uh, apparent when the leaves aren't out. And when the leaves are out, everything changes. And it's just beautiful and happy all of a sudden. And that has suddenly happened in the last three days. On Friday, really, the, the leaves really started to pop. Um, when the oak trees start to have their leaves, that's when everything really changes. And that's happened. And it's so exciting to go outside and just see green everywhere. It's so uplifting. Green and also all the cherry blossoms are out. So it's greens and pinks. And then all the daffodils, all, just all the flowers, all the spring happiness. Um, and the bluebells, all the bluebells. Oh my God, mum, have you been out for a bluebell walk yet? Because, oh my God, I went for one today and it was so beautiful. Um, Infrared says, good morning, Venus. This has got to be your best and most beautiful weekend ever, especially in relation to your album release. Thank you, Infrared. You're such a sweetheart. Zakak Chan, thank you so much. Maybe it's Zasek Chan. Thank you for that beautiful raid. I hope you had a fantastic stream. Welcome in to you and your lovely viewers. A big shout out to Zasek Chan. 
Um, I hope I'm saying your name right. I'm assuming it's a C that's a soft C rather than Zakuk. I think it's Zasik. Um, Grogu, your 21st month. Wow. Grogu, thank you for yet again using your Twitch Prime and being such a supportive bean month after month after month. Kentai, thank you for that 100 bit Tuesday. It's the best, isn't it? I'm assuming you're uh, referring to when the, the leaves come out on the trees. Um, my Medina, it's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, Dadden87 says, pollen allergy is kicking. Oh, true. I'm so sorry to those of you who do have hay fever and are starting to suffer already. It's totally unfair. You should be able to enjoy the change in weather without having your eyes tickled and your nose tickled. It must be absolute hell. Um, so sending all of you hay fevery beans extra love. Um, thank you, old but slow, for that 100 bit cheese. So you are looking magnificent today. Happy stream day. Thank you, old but slow. Bless your face. I bet you're looking magnificent today. Um, Andy the Hello, beautiful Andy the Frenchie is an absolutely magnificent music streamer here on Twitch. I love her to bits and pieces, and I know you beans do too. Any of you that have not yet met her, you are going to fall in love with her, so go and press follow and join her beautiful community. Andy, it's wonderful to have you with us today. Hi, my lovely P-Turks. Thank you for that one, two, three, four, five hundred bit cheer, you angel. You're spoiling me rotten. You say revenue protection um, were out in force on the train. I was on earlier this afternoon, so I better buy a ticket. <laughs> um, yes, you wouldn't want to get fined. You most certainly wouldn't. <laughs> Peter, thank you for riding on board this very illegal and not allowed train. It's most certainly not allowed, especially after a weekend of this much excitement. Major Aid, thank you for bestowing a pair of wings upon Angie, Andy the Frenchie. Thank you so much. Um, Pinkies, it's a pleasure to have you here. Um, and who else have we got with us today that I've missed? If I've missed you in chat, if I've not given you a hello, hello, Hugh Funkin knew it. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. Do keep yelling hi at me till I see you. Um, of course, hello to all my beautiful workers who I love so very much even though I never see you in chat I can feel you there and it means the world right you beautiful beans should we kick things off should we get this party started should we take part three of this album release weekend seriously with a, um, a full-on performance what should we open the show with today I don't know which one should we have? Should we have a song from the album or should we have something left field? Gosh, none of us know what to do. We're just beside ourselves. Well, I've got to open with one from the album. I can't not. Look, it's an album release weekend. I'm going to play for you for the, um, let's have a look, for the first song of the stream today. Let's go for Champion. Let's open strong today. Um, right, the sauciest song on this album, apparently. <laughs> um, here we go. <laughs> this is Champion. And hope that with their courage they will 
song of the stream today the third track off my brand new album that song is called champion the hour that turned blue is the name of the album you can get it now from my band camp page if you'd like to and of course you can stream it across all the major musical streaming platforms to all of you that have been spending so much time streaming this album this weekend you are so amazing thank you with all my heart um now who have i not said hello to jt beeman bless your face daja welcome in duncan it's a pleasure to have you here too all right beans for the the second song of the stream we're going to go in with a cover we're going to spice things up hello chris thompson it's a pleasure to have you here you say hello venus um hang on i've lost the message one moment um long time no see just want you to know i loved your hour that turned blue song the g major key and the type of vibes that gave me and that i expected to get um chris thank you so much i'm so very glad that you enjoyed the song thank you with all of my heart and soul all right beans here we go this is Joni Mitchell, A Case of You.
Just before I look, I lost you said I am as constant as the northern star And I said Constantly in the darkness Where's that if you need me I'll be at the bar On the back of a cartoon coaster In the blue of a TV screen light A true map of Canada Oh, Canada With your face sketched on it Case of You by Joni Mitchell for the first cover of the stream. Oh, thanks. <laughs> the studio door just opened so that they could do a loud round of applause. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, hello to Agent Alpaca and anyone else that I've missed in chat. If I've not given you a hello yet, yell at me right now. Ladnar TV, bless your face. Il Musaf, I hope you're having a fantastic day. And anyone else I've missed, good afternoon to all of you beautiful beans. Welcome to day three of the album launch celebration weekend. Andy says, making me cry in the morning. <laughs> Andy, I love you so much and I'm sorry for making you cry. Oh, I love her. And May Terrain, thank you for bestowing a pair of wings upon Agent Alpaca, you absolute angel. Infrared says, so whenever a new album comes out, I always remove single versions of songs off the playlist and replace them with all of the songs from the album. When it comes to Champion, I did notice the difference between the, difference between the versions. Champion single version, four minutes, 16. Champion album version, five version, five minutes, 35. So re-added the single version of Champion and Venus. I do enjoy 
enjoy them both. Thank you, Infrared. Thank you for paying so much attention to the songs. You are wonderful. Thank you with all of my heart as well for adding my songs to your playlist. It helps so much. Every single post interaction, every stream of a song, every viewer here on Twitch, all of that helps me get pushed up vis in visibility. Invisibility with regards to visibility is a clear way of saying that. Um, it makes me more visible to the masses, which means more album sales, more track listens, and um, generally more exposure as a musician. And that is, as an indie artist, what I'm looking for um, is constantly trying to find more ways of getting exposed to the masses. Um, so thank you, Beans, so very much. Bless all of your faces. And um, yeah, that's what that's what I want to say to you, really. That's what I want to say. Um, so I'm gonna play to you up next. Um, uh, a little bit of should we go for? Let's have. How about? Okay. One thought at a time here, Venus. One thought at a time. Oh, you know what I want to play? I love this song so much. Oh, it's so sad. Um. <coughs> Right. What's it called? It's called this. Okay. I don't know why I'm being mysterious about this. <laughs> no reason, really. This is Falling by the Civil Wars. <laughs> so much credible for resubscribing for your third month and using your Twitch Prime. Bless your face. Haven't you seen me so walking? Cause I've been holding your hand. Haven't you noticed me Oh, won't you read my mind? 
By the Civil Wars, that was Falling, an absolutely magnificently haunting song. God, I love it so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Angie Indy, that was for you. I know you love that song. Lil Nymphy, welcome, my lovely mythic Scotty. Hello, my darling breed. Anyone I've not said hello to, yell at me right now. Hello, Whiskey. It's a pleasure to have you here. Emma1212, bless your face. Is that Joey Williams writing that particular song, Lukey? I wouldn't be surprised. She's amazing. Daniel! Good afternoon, my love. A massive shout out to the incredible Daniel Wayne. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. And we got Merms here. Oh, I am at, I'm just blessed with musicians today. Mermaid Unicorn is another fantastic music streamer here on Twitch. Please go and give Mermaid a follow and Daniel Wayne a follow. And of course, Andy, Andy the Frenchie as well. Look, I'm so blessed. Look at these lovely beans coming to join me today. Welcome in, you beautiful people. Thank you for joining me. Um, thank you, Made to Raid, for bestowing a pair of wings upon Merms. And thank you, Archangel, for your 48th month of resubscribing. Bless your face. Thank you with all of my heart. Um, thick smork it's a pleasure to have you with us too all right my beautiful beans coming up for you next I think I should play you one off the album how about we go for the title track why don't we just go large we're going large and in charge today um, made to raise gah I wish you could okay I've lost the message now hang on let me just open up this window so I can read it he's like gah I wish you could see the eerie ethereal video that plays in my head when you perform that song Venus which I don't even get from the original so thank you oh Thank you. <laughs> that makes my day. Well, made to raid, it might possibly be similar to what I have going on in my head. Um, I feel like we might have quite similar imaginations, honestly. Wakener one. Hello, my lovely. You so say the hour that turned me. <laughs> Wakener, how are you, my sweet bean? Thank you, Dad, for bestowing a pair of wings upon Daniel Wayne. Well, beans, I think I should play this to you with the full production for extra fun. Um, so, the hour that turned blue. Now, Beaver Bears, it's labelled with all just the first letters of the, of the words, right? This one. I can never find this one. Or is it different in this particular... Oh. Okay, I'm going to open up the album. It's okay. I'm, I'm opening up the album, the different main stage, because I know where it is on there. Um, so, all right, Beans, are you ready? The Hour That Turned Blue, the title track on my album, which came out on Friday. Here we go, you beautiful beans. Yesterday I lost me right around the time that I lost you A quarter after two the hour that turned blue to magnets turned away from facing what it was that drew their bodies to gather that is who we are who we are who we
track off my brand new album that is the hour that turned blue luke i love that your name has turned blue that is so cute <laughs> bless your face lukey poo thank you for the whooping and the clapping in the kitchen i can hear that <laughs> hello want a biscuit it's a pleasure to have you with us today i do want a biscuit i am um, not having sugar at the moment and i want a biscuit a lot i would love to have a biscuit i would love to have now this is a bit left field for me but i would like to have a custard cream do you have those where you're from in the world, beans? Um, custard creams might just be an English thing. It's like a thin square sandwich biscuit with a layer of sort of what they call custard, but it's sort of like a hard cream in, in the middle. And um, it's like a vanilla a vanilla biscuit, almost shortbready kind of like a thin... Pff, that's all I could really explain it as. <laughs> custard creams are amazing. They're so good. I don't usually eat them at all in fact i've not had them for years but for some reason that's what i want right now is a custard cream um luke says custard creams in a little tea yes oh my god so a little dunk or with a hot chocolate oh my god even better even better um supo valix or supov alex it's a pleasure to have you here with us today as well um solstra says not i don't know for sure but in canada i think we have it as well um they're so delicious i feel like they should be everywhere but it for some reason, custard cream to me just sounds like such a British thing. I can I can um, really imagine that um, it's just here in the UK. Um, Lukey says I saved the Bourbons for the hot chocolate. Oh, the Bourbons, the chocolate version. Is that what that is? I think it is. And hell yeah, agree with that. Biscuits. We could have a whole session, you know, a whole stream where we just rate biscuits. I'd love that. We just look at the different biscuit types, taste them and rate them <laughs> from from delicious to really delicious because there are I don't I mean there are very few that I would find to be actually not delicious I think most biscuits are delicious maybe there's a couple that I'm not bothered about I'm trying to think Pfft, love them all love Jaffa cakes love digestives love rich tea biscuits love squash fly um pff, love ginger cookies ginger snaps bourbons custard creams there might be a sort of pink biscuit that I don't care about. There's a, there's a pink one. Lukey, do you know what that pink biscuit is? Jaffa Cakes. I love Jaffa Cakes so much. Um, hobnobs, love them. Love a hobnob. Love jammy dodgers. Uh, party rings is nostalgic. I love the nostalgia of them, but I, I don't think I'd sit down and enjoy a um, party ring. Just f were it not nostalgic. Um, pink wafer. Yeah, I'm not bothered about pink wafers. They can, uh, from what I can remember, not had them for years, but they can get in the bin, I think. Um, I think the pink wafers are the are probably the, the the least exciting of the biscuits. Um, <laughs> Teddy says, this is the most British I've ever seen on this stream. <laughs> Just sitting here geeking out about biscuits. What's the best biscuit, though? Oh, you know what's really good? Is, an, is a, the digestives. That, now, digestives, again, I don't know if that's just a British thing. It's like a, it's a round biscuit that's got, well, you can get a plain digestive or you can have a biscuit, a digestive that's covered in chocolate. But a really good one is the digestive caramel. It's a layer of chocolate on top and then a thin layer of stretchy caramel within the biscuit. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh my God. I love also those, um, the Dutch waffle biscuits. What are they called? Is it Stroop waffles? Love those. Used to have those a lot as a kid. Um... Chainsaw says, Turnox caramel wafers are the ultimate biscuit. Tonox. Tunnox. I don't think I know Tunnox. Stroop waffle. Yes, I love Stroop waffle. You say it's Strop waffle. Strop waffle. Strop waffle. Um, love it. Love it so much. It's so delicious. <laughs> and she says, now I'm starving. I will, I'm just starving for biscuits, which is something I'm not letting myself have. I've been testing myself. Not having sugar. And I did really, I, it, weirdly, I did really well. It was like super easy to quit this time. And I don't know why. 
I don't know why it was. I've been off sugar now for a few weeks, other than the fact that I did have a taste of my grandma's birthday cake because my mum baked it and she did it with a, a small amount of sugar. Um, and it was so good, oh my God. But I've not had any sugar cravings really at all until right now and because we're talking about biscuits. Um, this is all because Want a Biscuit is here <laughs> with your biscuity username. Um, well, Psychos, I've always felt the same. Sugar is love, so sugar is life. I've, I am the biggest sugar addict, which is really why I wanted to challenge myself to stop. And I've got to say, I've noticed a massive difference in my skin. Um, and I realize this every time. Whenever I'm on sugar, I get many more spots. Um, and it's something that doesn't really happen to me nearly as much. Other than perhaps hormones... Um, maybe sort of certain weeks in the month, I will be more prone to getting spots, but I'll get, I'll get a breakout if I eat lots of sugar <laughs> regularly. Um, and is it worth it? Maybe it is because I love sugar so much, but also my poor teeth. And so I've been really taking that into account because I hate going to the dentist. And so I don't want to have to go to the dentist and get fillings. I had enough fillings because I've been a sugar eater my whole life. Um, so for many reasons, really, I've given up. But the mental challenge was a really fun one. I liked the challenge of trying to give up something that you love do like you love so much. And I love eating sugar so much. It brought me so much joy every day. And I'm I'm I would eat a lot of sugar. I mean, ice cream nearly every day, chocolate all through the day. Just my snacks would be just terrible sugary snacks. Um, and I've gone cold turkey. Other than that bit of birthday cake, <laughs> but that was very low sugar. Um, so. Yes, it's it's felt good. It was it's been easy up until right now, until this biscuit conversation. Do you have a cheat day? No, I don't. Well, I did have one cheat day where I had some of, as I said, my grandma's birthday cake that my mum baked. Uh, but no, no cheat days because I don't want to think of it. I'm trying to think of it as just like um, a sustainable lifestyle choice rather than something that I'm um, denying myself of and allowing myself to then have a little treat. Do you know what I mean? I'm trying to just get out of the mindset altogether of needing sugar. Because the moment I have some, I start craving it. So if I were to have a, a cheat day, all the days that aren't cheat days, I'd be suffering. So just cutting it out altogether. Cold turkey's working well for me. <laughs> um, although I say that, you know, if I go on holiday somewhere lovely with lovely ice cream, I'm going to eat ice cream. I'm not being that strict. Um, but on the whole, just for now, at this point, for the next maybe couple of months or so, seeing if I can just keep up this no sugar vibe and just see how I feel, see how, if my energy levels. Now, this has coincided also with me having flu for the last three weeks, so I can't really um, say whether or not it's given me extra energy because I've had no energy. <laughs> maybe me getting flu three weeks ago was, because it did coincide with me cutting out sugar. Maybe that was because I cut out sugar. My body was like, right, we're going to just have a massive cleanse now. You're going to be blowing your nose for three weeks. Good luck. And then the sugar will be gone. Um, Luke says I avoid it all um, but coffee now yeah well that's never been a problem for me the, the old coffee one Lukey um, how many coffees do you have a day though Luke are you are you caffeinated up to the, to the rim to the rim to the rafters all day um, if if I could drink coffee I love the taste of it if I could drink it without having a a, a um, sort of feeling of mild underlying anxiety sometimes extreme not underlying at all but very at the front of everything anxiety um, and the shakes. If I didn't have those things happen, I'd enjoy coffee cause, just because I love the taste. But um, it makes me feel so rubbish that I just can't do it. <laughs> it. Makes me feel terrible. A sip is fine. If I had a little sip, absolutely fine. But a cup of coffee will ruin my day, at least for about three to four hours. Johnny says, I'm on my second cup and ate like six almond cookies. Oh my God, Johnny, you're having a good Sunday. You're having a very good Sunday. Mace says, rumor has it Luke is 85% coffee at this point. <laughs> he is just a coffee bean. <gasps> He's a coffee bean. <laughs> that is so cute. All right, beans. If you if you drink coffee, you're a coffee bean. Chainsaw juggler. It's a pleasure to have you here. You say, next time you have a cheat day, try some tunnocks, tea cakes and caramel wafers if you've never had them. They're not overly sweet, actually. They're very well balanced as biscuits. Oh, I will. Tunnocks. I'll remember that. Um, for my next naughty day of eating treats, I will do that. Um, the thing is, when you've come off sugar, then when you next try something with sugar in it, you find it so sweet. Like you find it almost unbearably sweet. Like my sugar tolerance was very high before I went on this sugar uh, cutout. And I could deal with very sweet things and loved it, thrived on it. I was just sugar. I was a, a piece of sugar walking around. Um, so, yeah. Jilly, I missed your bits. Oh, no. You say, please don't give up streaming for the challenge of eating. Jilly, I would never. <laughs> Can you imagine? This is, um, this is a healthy addiction. 
this one, this is not harming me in any way. <laughs> um, Jilly, I never will. Thank you for another 100 bit cheer. Oh my God. <laughs> Bless you. Um, Bad Melon says, if having a coffee makes me a coffee bean, then the amount of I've had, the amount I've had to date, then I'm an entire plantation. <laughs> How many of you beans drink coffee? Um, can you put a heart in chat right now if you drink coffee? Let's see the percentage here. Because I'd say nearly everyone I know, um, bar both of my parents and my grandma and my sister, we're not. none of my family are coffee drinkers. Everybody else I know, every single person is a diligent coffee drinker. Um, oh, there we go. Co there's, there's a chat, there's a poll. If you're a coffee bean, if you drink coffee, this is easier than putting hearts in. Let's see the percentage. Thank you. Forgot about the fact that we could just do a poll. Gosh, how advanced. Um, right, nine votes so far. 12 for yes, absolutely. Five votes for no. Two votes for what's coffee. <laughs> um, 22 votes now for yes. 27 for yes. Seven for no. 37 for yes, nine for no, 40 for yes. Oh my God, we've got a lot of coffee drinkers. 45 for yes, 12 for no, 48. Okay, this is crazy. 14, 15 of you are saying you don't drink coffee. 50 of you are saying you do drink coffee. This is outrageous. <laughs> uh, another eight of you are saying, what's coffee? Not even, don't even know what coffee is. Um, 56 of you drink coffee. This is this is a, a big percentage of the audience then. 61 of you against 23. 23 of you saying you don't drink coffee. Um, I've met a few people recently, a few people at the climbing gym, in fact, that don't drink coffee. Um, and they're quite similar to me in energy levels. I think it's um, possibly the more sort of hyperactive you are as a person. I'm, a, I'm extremely hyperactive, ADHD, cannot drink coffee. But you know what's weird is I can drink coffee and sleep. It doesn't keep me up. It just makes me shake and feel ill, um, which is similar to the people I've spoken to recently who don't. But other, most, I'd say 90% of my friend group are coffee drinking all day. And I love the smell. I love to just, I just get, I get the vibes off the smell. If they're drinking a coffee near me, I'll go and breathe it in. And that'll do me. Sometimes I'll take a little sip with permission, of course. I'm not just going around sipping people's coffee <laughs> willy-nilly. <laughs> Venus, the coffee sipper. The secret coffee si sipper. <laughs> going with a straw and inserting it into different people's coffees just to get a tiny buzz. I don't do that. 67 of you say you do. 29 of you say you don't. And 10 say you don't even know what coffee is. Which means 39 of you are saying you're not coffee drinkers to 67. That is actually not as crazy as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be way more... Um, leaning towards drinking to not um so i've learned a little something today you're not all coffee drinkers um i wish i could i wish i could partake i don't know if it's good for you i've heard mixed things is coffee good for you all i know in terms of being negative is that it stains your teeth so it's actually best to drink it through a straw and try not to let it touch your teeth at all because over over the years it will slowly um build up a stain um but i've heard i don't know is it is it bad for the lining of your stomach i've heard it sort of two different arguments i've heard you should have it every day and it will save you from many things and also you should never have it ever and it's terrible for you i don't know and i don't know the science between either of those and perhaps it's just sort of it's sort of nothing <laughs> maybe it's just sort of it's fine for you it's not terrible or, or good um infrared says so venus what do you think is the healthiest hot tea um what do you think is the healthiest hot tea in all of england do you mean like um just of all like not just well, I personally, I think caffeine free is the healthiest. Um, I would say probably a mint tea is or turmeric tea, probably turmeric. Turmeric is a super thing. Anything, anything with turmeric or ginger or lemon or honey. I think those are probably the best teas for your body. Um, I don't know about green tea. I can't drink it. Same, same kind of vibes as if I have coffee. I can't even drink black tea. Nothing with caffeine. Um, Jazz says coffee doesn't give you energy it just blinds you to the things that tell you you're tired so you don't feel tired until they fall off and then you get a hit of tiredness yeah that's what I've always thought is that it just kind of um, masks what you're feeling and so then you kind of work yourself too hard on energy levels that aren't really there uh, and then you feel even worse so, so maybe it is bad in that sense maybe it's better to feel how tired you actually are and act appropriately to that but then again if you're working all day and you don't have a choice about the amount of things you have to do and the coffee's the only thing that's going to get you through those things it's a lifesaver so i don't know i guess in the long run if you've got a lifestyle that supports it it's better to be tired and 
uh, rest <laughs> and don't do as much. But if you have to do as much, if you've got no choice, then I guess drinking coffee to get you through it is just going to save you. Um, Zaratul, it's a pleasure to have you here. You say, my daughter was born premature and was prescribed a microdose of caffeine to stop the apnea attack so she developed a bit more. Um, wow. That's amazing. So, I mean, caffeine is obviously a fantastic drug as well. It is a drug, right? Caffeine? Because I'm, I'm sure it is. Caffeine and, and sugar? Is sugar a drug? I don't know. Feels like it, honestly. Feels like a crazy drug to me, sugar. Um, Sidewalk says, drink mud water, not coffee. Wait, what's mud water? You know what I've been having recently is medicinal mushroom um not as a tea. I'm having it cold. I'm sure it'd be nicer. But lion's mane mushrooms and oh, I think it's, oh, I can't remember what it's called, ashwagandha or something. I don't know. Um, meant to be amazing for the neuroplasticity of your brain. So I've heard. I'm not a scientist. I have not confirmed this. Um, but it's meant to be great for people who get anxiety and I'm an anxious thinker. Um, don't know if it's helped me. It tastes a bit weird. I'm getting used to the taste. It's a bit bitter. Honestly, it's not very nice, but it's meant to be a, a great thing for you. It's worth researching anyway. Oh, sidewalk. That's what I thought. Mud water is made of mushrooms. Yes, yeah, so I've been having that every day. I've been having mud water every day. They're not magic mushrooms. They're not um, They're not going to make you hallucinate or anything. They are medicinal mushrooms. So, I don't know. Look up lion's mane. It's got many magical things about it. And I guess it is magic in a way, but just not, not the kind of um, hallucinogenic magic mushroom. <sighs> now... Beans. <laughs> How sidetracked can we get talking about caffeine? Honestly, it, this all stemmed from biscuits, <laughs> which um, I'm I'm still hungry for. I still would like some biscuits. Hi, keep the gaze. How are you, my love? Bless your face. All right, beans. Um, um. Oh, also sidewalk. Thank you for that one hundred bit cheer, you angel. Shall I sing you a song? I think I think we should. Should we Should we just carry on with this show? Okay. Holy Z, it's a pleasure to have you here. Sidewalk Enforcer. You angel. Thank you so much for bestowing five pairs of wings upon our beans, you blooming beautiful bean. Thank you so very much. How many of you are fizzy drink um, drinkers as well? That's, that's another thing I wonder, because that's not something I've grown up with. So um, I've never been a, a drinker of fizzy drinks. I guess in America you call it pop. Here we just call it fizzy drinks. Um, like Coca-Cola, soda, yeah, soda, I guess they're sodas, um, yes, you're all saying soda, okay, soda, sorry, <laughs> we don't call that here, we have soda water, which is just like an unflavoured, fizzy, almost slightly sweet water, right, or is it, no, it's not even flavoured, it's just a fizzy water, which are called soda water, but um, you drink pop, and do you go sugar free, or do you go sugar pop? Because I think, I feel like nowadays with the, Z, with the like Coke Zero or whatever, Pepsi Zero, I don't know. I don't even know what they are, Pepsi Max. I don't, I've got no idea. Um, I feel like it's a lot more drinkable for a lot of people. Um, but it's not something I enjoy. I've never really enjoyed it. Maybe like when I was a kid, if I got a McDonald's takeaway, I would enjoy a few sips of Coca-Cola on the side, but I would want a milkshake with it. But it's not something I've ever really drunk. And I'm glad for that because I'd be so addicted to it because it's very sweet. Um, Bert says, I have a soda stream and get the sugar-free syrups. Oh, nice. Yeah, my dad's got a, car a, a little carbonator. Maybe it's called a soda stream. Um, and he likes to make his water fizzy for his... What's, it, what's, what's that to have with? In my family, we've always done very, very weak drinks. We'll put like this much apple juice with like this much water and a whole bunch of ice and whatever. I, and I imagine that's what dad puts it with. Apple juice and I don't know. Um... Josh says, I drink soda water all the time using my soda stream. Um, Jazz says, Dr. Pepper is belching fuel. Oh my God, I don't like Dr. Pepper. I've never liked it. In fact, the only fizzy drink I like, which is maybe a kind of similar vibe to Dr. Pepper, but not, is Purdy's, which is like a, a health drink. I don't know if it really is. Maybe it is. Um, they at least put vitamins in it or something. And I like that, but that I, I don't like any of the, the standard main brand like Coca-Cola or, or um, Pepsi or any of that. I can enjoy the taste of Coca-Cola, like, just a little sip of it, but I wouldn't want to drink a, a bottle of Coke or a glass of Coke. I can enjoy a lemonade, like a freshly made lemonade. Oh, or a ginger beer. I take it back. I do like ginger beer, but very specific brands that aren't too sweet. Um, Vimto is very similar to Dr. Pepper. I've never had Vimto. I don't know. I don't know what that is. 
Um, Matera says, Coke Zero used to be the best, but they changed the recipe in the US at least. And now it tastes weird to me anyway. Really? Um, they've made a change to it. That's very surprising, especially as people have never been complaining about the taste of it before, right? Um, ginger beer is so good. Andy says, I'm lucky enough to hate fizzy stuff. Yeah, we're lucky, Andy, to, to not be regular drinkers of it. I don't drink any juice or anything. I, I drink ginger shots, which I'll add to water. Um, and now and then I'll have a like a fruit smoothie. But I don't drink juices, again, because I'm just trying to... Well, really, it was from about three years ago. My dentist said, just stop having juice and you won't have to come and get fillings. And I was like, fine, easy. I'll cut out juice because I was drinking orange juice the whole time. And that just wears away your enamel. Um, so I stopped altogether then. But absolutely loved orange juice growing up. That was my that was my um, kryptonite was just orange juice every day, which I don't. <laughs> A tennis says, look, dentist, just fill my teeth. If you're fine going to the dentist, fine. I do not like going to the dentist. It gives me super anxiety. So I, I, I'm I, doing everything I can to take care of my teeth really well so that I don't have to go to the dentist. Yeah, and straws. Straws is a great idea. If you are going to have something sugary that's a drink, use a straw. Um. So anyway, I digress again. <laughs> How did we get here? I don't know. Let's play a song. <laughs> And Lucas says, so how many people have gone to grab a drink and a cookie in the last 20 minutes, right? How many of you are eating biscuits right now? Own up. If you're eating a biscuit, I want to live vicariously through your biscuit eating. Raz says, I also do not like going to the dentist. <laughs> Raz, you're in the wrong profession. <laughs> Raz, I bet you have to deal with a lot of very nervous people because so many people are so nervous about going to the dentist. In fact, I know more people that are sort of phobic of it than, um, than not. Most of my friends are really phobic of it because nearly everyone's had a really bad experience with the dentist. My grandma, worst of all, she is she's absolutely like deathly scared of going to the dentist. I'm f like fine. I don't have a, a phobia of it, but I'm highly anxious about going. There. I just don't like sitting there for however long it's going to take. Um, and the, the and maybe I should go with sound cancelling headphones. It's the noise apart from anything. The, the sound of a drill in your mouth is just really hard to deal with, isn't it? It's very hard. Um, uh, Bert says, my current dentist is excellent, but childhood trauma put me off for years. Yeah, my current dentist is amazing. He's so good. And my one actually specializes in people who are nervous about going to the dentist. So he's very good. Um, and I shouldn't be nervous about going, but I still put it off for as long as I possibly can every time. Um, <sighs> hello to Dekio. It's a pleasure to have you here. Okay. Oh my God, I'm getting so distracted. Bean, what's happened to me today? <laughs> I'm just too chatty. Um, which is probably good. It's probably good. It's probably a sign that I need to not sing nonstop. Um, <clears throat> Ciderwalk, have a fantastic time, my lovely Bean. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for being so generous and kind and wonderful. Um, Keep the Gay says, they are developing a laser drill to replace the physical drill. <gasps> now that's so cool. So it won't make a noise. Because the... the sound is very it's very just it's very present isn't it when it's something that's in your face it's just you can't really escape the the whole sensation of it and also when they hold your mouth open with a little clampy thing ugh, terrible so, it's not a vibe i'm talking myself out of ever going to the dentist again so i better not eat any sugar ever again um apparently crisps are also bad for your teeth and i, I i'm a partaker in crisps chips for you americans we call chips crisps packet of crisps what I'll say give us a packet of crisps um Luke says I prefer the noise just so I know when things are happening true otherwise you can have to get the dentist to just alert you the entire time Raz says the amount of power a laser would need to cut through tooth would cook it sadly oh really we don't want cooked teeth that doesn't sound good um we'll stick to the drills for now Raz <laughs> Um, El Tigre, it's a pleasure to have you here. You say, imagine the old days when the drill didn't spin so fast and smoke would be coming out of your mouth. I can't even. That's why my grandma is phobic of the dentist because she's from the old days where it was hectic to go to the dentist and she had hectic experiences there. Um, Spatacat says, I was phobic of it. I had to go through eight weeks of dental surgeries because of nasty infection that spread. It was just insanely scary for me, but I got through it. Just another sensation to avoid was my mantra. Well done, Spatacat. Go you for going through it and getting it all sorted out because I know how hard it is from personal experience um, when you're so nervous about doing something and but you know you've got to do it for your health. Um, so well done. Bravo you. So we can all get through anything, even our, our biggest fears. We feel like we can't. 
Um, but then as soon as we start, it's never as bad as you think it's going to be. Um, you can you can nearly always just stand to be there and just be like, you know what, I'm okay with this not feeling great right now. This is just going to be hard, and I'll just I'll just get through it. Um, we're very resilient beings. Um, Bad Melon says, my mum is 92 and she has all her teeth and zero fillings. Now, those are the kind of genes you want. You're lucky that that is your mum because that means you've got probably, probably, if you've inherited her teeth genes, very strong teeth. Uh, bravo her. How she done that? Is she a diligent toothbrusher? I feel like we should be doing it three times a day, right? We should be brushing our teeth after every meal, about an hour afterwards. That's just too much. Twice a day. Twice a day I can deal with, but three times a day is... That's for the holy. That's for people who are just truly ascended. So Valiant, thank you for your 30th month of resubscribing. Thank you for using your Twitch Prime. Thank you for being magical. Bad Melon says she does not have sugar and drinks only water. Well, there you have it. I think I think sugar is the is the real baddie. And yeah, drinking just water. Go her. Wow. Imagine that. No fillings at 90. Oh. Um Okay. All right. I'm so I'm so distractible. I can't even can't even begin a song. Come on, Venus, pick a song and sing it. Um, we're going to go for elements. Push me, pull me as incisive as the wind, but strong.
Watch them washed away their thoughts Like a fire will burn Deep into the night And each in time We blind it by our light When will we learn That to make it all over We have to give up this Have to give up this Have to give up this For My brand new album that song is called elements the album is called the hour that turned blue the link is at the top of the chat so you can get your hands on a copy of this album right now i sign everyone that's going out we've had so many album orders it's absolutely blowing my mind so thank you beans and also of course you can listen on spotify itunes amazon music all the different musical streaming platforms janiac thank you so much for that beautiful raid welcome in how was your stream my lovely a massive shout out to janiac hello doodly mofo it's a pleasure to have you with us today also raz i hope you're having a lovely weekend i didn't give you a proper hello i know i've spoken to you but i've not said hello properly big snacks jenkins it's a pleasure to have you with us today welcome in all of you beautiful beans right I'm going to play for you up next. This is The Blower's Daughter by Damien Rice. Because it wouldn't be an album launch without playing this one, would it? It wouldn't even count. Is it even a stream if she doesn't play this song? Beaver Baz, before I forget, this chair has got a very dodgy leg. Could give way at any point. Hopefully it won't. I just noticed it was sort of leaning inwards with one of the legs. And I'm going to forget to tell you unless I tell you right now. One of these days on stream is just going to collapse below, below me. It's going to be a very good moment. It'll be clippable at least. And 
Daughter by Damien Rice, one of my favourite songs in the whole entire world. Oh, I love it so much. Thank you, beautiful beans, for all this kindness and cuteness and magic to all of you pressing follow. Hello and welcome. It's wonderful to have you here on this very magical weekend where I am launching my brand new album, The Hour That Turned Blue. Um, I'm going to play for you for the next song of the stream this afternoon. Um, well, okay. Here we go. This is what I'd like to play for you next. This is Fix You by Coldplay. When you try your best but you don't succeed When you get what you want, but know what you need When you feel so tired, but you can't sleep Stuck in reverse And when the tears come streaming down your face When you lose something you can't replace And when you love someone but it goes to waste Could it be
When you're too in love to let it go But if you never try, you'll never know Just what you want I love that song so much. Fix You by Coldplay. Hello to anyone that's joined whilst I was singing. Welcome in. Thank you, Mate Raid, for bestowing a pair of wings, giving a sub to The Before Times. The Before Times, it's a pleasure to have you here with us today. Metal Hoof, thank you for your eighth month of resubscribing, you absolute blooming angel. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for all this love and kindness and cuteness. I think it's time for um, um, a little radio head, and I want to play Lucky. This is just one of the most magical songs of all time. And I've not played it enough on stream. I think the strings should be in with this one as well. Let's go epic drama. Thank you, the before times. Bless your face. Hello, Rum Holt. It's a pleasure to have you here too. Pierre Capel, welcome, my darling. Stay. I 
into darkness there <laughs> that was lucky by radiohead i love that song with my whole heart and soul um dad that camera has she's died she's kaput she's gone she's left us um i'm assuming it's just the lead i'm just gonna click on that camera don't worry beans i know we're in darkness we're just so it's not appearing at all even with the wiggling and the jiggling no oh yes there we go yeah we're on we're on I'll just keep an eye on it. Yeah, seems fine. It's not even blinking. It's because I came in the room. Yeah, all it takes is Beaver Baz walking in here, honestly, every single time. Um, Havoc, Andrea Dimmy, welcome in, my lovely beans. Bless all of your faces. What a pleasure it is to have you here for this beautiful, magical weekend of celebrating the hour that turned blue. Mace is in darkness. You can still always follow Venus's voice home. Mate, bless you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, I think we should go for one more from the album. Um, and I think we should have... Let's go. Let's, let's end on a partying note. This is Witness. Ted, thank you for that two-bit cheer. Thank you, Made, by the way, for that 100 bit cheer twice. I missed another one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, Beans. Let's end this weekend in style. Thank you, everybody, for such a magnificent, non stop, jam packed with love weekend. I feel home in ragged wood where the dark moss grows on stone Turn my back on city lights And I find myself alone The waters call the trees
my brand new album. This is the first track. It is called Witness. Thank you, beautiful beans. And thank you to the beautiful Missy, thank you for that glorious raid. I hope your stream was absolutely magnificent. Missy Socks is a fantastic music streamer here on Twitch. I love her so much and I know you will too. If you're not already following her, make sure to go and press follow right now. Missy, bless your face. She said, witnesses on the album, yes. So what we did with this album is release most of the tracks, not all of them, but most of the tracks one by one um, in order to give each track the um, attention that we wanted to give it. Because if you release it all as one thing on Spotify, you can only pick one song to be the feature track that Spotify I will push whereas if you release them all as singles and then as an album each song gets that push um so that is the that was the way that we decided to do this album and it was really fun and it meant that each time that I released a song I gave it so much attention and made a music video and made a big fuss of each one so it was a lot of fun um right you glorious beans I'm gonna play for you up next I don't know <laughs> what am I gonna play I just don't know okay I'm gonna play for all of you um Another original. This one's not on the album. Right. I'm going to go for part of me. This one is released, so you can listen to this one as many times as you like. I'm going to play it to you with the full production. Here we go, beautiful beans. This is part of me. Step outside. I 
guess I tried And when the end comes near Will I be the only one to say goodbye? I live in fear Cause we Original of mine. That one is called Part of Me. And that one is released on my album Venus World. Not the hour that turned blue, but Venus World. The album before, <laughs> Well Beautiful Beans. This has been an absolutely spectacular Sunday afternoon stream. I have had the best time. Now, the next stream is going to be Tuesday at 8 pm BST and then Saturday and Sunday at 4 pm BST. Beans. Thank you from the very bottom of my heart for making this weekend so soul touching. This has been magical from start to finish. And I feel so moved by the amount of support that you've all given me. So thank you. Kentai, thank you for that 100 bit cheer for Teg. You're such a cutie. And then OBJ all day. Thank you to that Ted for that 10 bit cheer. Vinny Languini. La oh my gosh, come on, Venus. Vinny Lam. Linguini Lamborghini, I love your name so much. Um, thank you so much. Bless your faces. My beautiful team of mods, as ever, thank you. Hats off to you for endlessly taking the most exquisite care of me and all of the beans forever and ever and ever. I love you so much. Um, okay, my glorious beans, we're going to go and do a beautiful raid now. And this afternoon, we are going to go and raid who have we got live. Let's go raid the incredible Sani Haller. She is so talented. She's so wonderful. We all love her so much. Make sure to press follow on her channel if you aren't already following following her and I hope the rest of your Sunday is filled with nothing but joy and plenty of biscuits if you're a partaker of biscuits um, until next time my beautiful beans see you Tuesday at 8pm BST it's time for me to say over and out <laughs> Does it seem to